Hello friend, welcome back. So lots of people recently have asked this question, how can we get this text of such kind of HTML form tooltip, info tooltip basically. And how can we inspect, like can we inspect this kind of tooltip or not? Can we write XPath for them or not? So this is actually a little bit tricky question and that's why it has been asked recently in many interviews and people have asked me that Sanjay can you help us like can we inspect such kind of tooltip. So let's understand what can we do and when this tooltip appear and how to handle this can we get the text of this like if we have to verify in the background if we have to verify this through automation can we do that or not. So let's see. So here suppose uh, any page like let me show you this on a page where we can get this tooltip. So here on selectorsub.com website just hover on this more and here you will find that XPath practice page just below one to one support. Click on this XPath practice page here. I will also leave the this in the this link in the description so you can take this directly. So here suppose this is the email field okay. Now right click here and click on inspect and you see that this field here okay before that let's type something here suppose we have typed here selectors hub okay and now if you press enter is showing this pop up here this tooltip here like if you press enter you will see that please include uh, please include and at the rate like this one in the email address. So this tooltip basically why it appears. This is something like HTML info tooltip for a form and it appears when a type is equal to email attribute has been used with the input tag with the input box if <coughs> type is equal to email has been used for a form so you see that this is a form here so if type is equal to like let's say this is an email if they have type for password if they have used type is equal to password then there would have been like password field will automatically convert into like dot 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 so that uh, this type attribute is uh, very powerful in html so without writing any HTML here, any uh, anything here in the background, they uh, like when if you will not enter the email address, proper email address like selectors of at the rate gmail.com and uh, anything like that uh, here. So like uh, selectors of if this will not be an email format basically, like if it is not something like this gmail.com then it will show that tooltip. So basically if you will enter any wrong email field then it will show that tooltip info. That's the logic. Okay. So how can we can we inspect this? So we got it that when this will appear it appears because uh, because it is <coughs> because type is equal to email is there. That is the region it is showing that tooltip and this will appear when there is a form and with the input type is equal to email has been used. Fine. So we understood that when it will appear and why it is appearing because we haven't entered the correct email format. Now second thing can we inspect it like when this appears can we inspect it. So we can inspect only those element. We can write selector only for those elements for which HTML is available in the DOM here in the elements tab if HTML will be available if DOM node will be available for that particular element then only we would be able to inspect and we would be able to write the X part of selectors but here that tooltip is appearing because of this type is equal to email attribute and that is like a validation message validation message for that particular field so we cannot inspect and we cannot write the X path of selectors and in fact by using the debugger also we cannot inspect that. Okay. So we cannot write and inspect that. 
that's the logic now can we get that text of that tooltip like this tooltip if we have to verify through automation that if we are getting this correct or not so if we have to verify that yes you can verify we can verify that we can get the text of this validation message how we can get that there is a attribute validation message attribute that you can use and i mean you can get the value of that attribute validation message and you will get the text so how can we get that let me show you so here for this page i will write the piece of code a small piece of code so this is already written opening the website <coughs> and then we are supposed to enter the value inside this box so let's open selector sub here this is already inspected element we'll turn on the command we got this copy this and here we have pasted let's say we want to send keys here suppose we want to enter some value same value we will enter selector sub at the rate okay and after this when we get this get that pop-up we when we click on this submit let's say so click on submit so we copy this paste it here and dot click so after this after performing these many actions these two actions like after entering the value and click uh, clicking on submit button we got that info pop-up okay and now we want to get that uh, attribute so what you will do let's say string is equal to that message is equal to here and that message comes here so attribute we will get that attribute respective to this element so copy this and paste it here dot get attribute method and what uh, attribute we want we want the validation message v a l i validation message if you ever forget the name of this but let me just verify this this is a validation message only dollar zero dot validation message correct so this is the one and now execute the script let me just print this one system dot out dot print talent and here we will print this value now let's execute this and see if it is printing that value or not so you see that it has appeared that message and clicked everything and here you can see that it has printed that value of message please enter a part following at the rate dot selector sub at is incomplete so we got that message so here we are able to get the value of that validation info tooltip that validation message through selenium automation similarly you can do it in like uh, javascript cypress or any other thing if you are using same way you can perform you can get the value of this validation message now if you want it through javascript very simple just uh, here you write that dollar zero dollar zero is the currently inspected element here and you just make it appear and if you press the enter here validation message it will show you so this way you can see it here as well through javascript very simple and if you want to write that document dot query selector also this way you can do document dot query selector and then you can get this validation message here also you will get the same way so this is how you can get the value of this uh, validation messages the value of this validation info tooltip or you can say that html form info tooltip so this is how you can get this but yes we cannot inspect and we cannot write the xpath or selector for this region because it is not part of the uh, html dom it is not uh, the dom html dom node is not available for this this has been uh, like this is coming from the type is equal to email attribute in the background okay so i hope you enjoyed this and you learned something new today i would request you to uh, subscribe to the channel to get more such kind of videos to learn more such concepts and to get more innovative ideas if you want to learn more such concepts and more about deeper concepts of xpass lectures etc you can join my training live training here and this training will help you a lot to improve your productivity and you will learn lots of new concepts related to xpass lectures 
dom web element etc so please do check out this training and here you can check out the feedback and this training will be really helpful if you are writing already writing automation script and you have a little bit knowledge of xpass selectors even if you are an expert then also this training will really really help you guys a lot so do check out also you can have just a demo session as well and you can see if this will helpful and definitely trust me this will be really really helpful for you with that thank you thank you so much for watching keep learning keep sharing thank you